Hey guys, how you doing? This is Dream Moose Tarot here, here for another reading for the sign of Aquarius. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you for those who subscribe, who, those who recently subscribe, and those who subscribe in the near future. All is welcome. Cross watchers, grab a seat. All right, I won't hold you guys any longer. Definitely, um, um, how do you say that? I encourage you guys to subscribe, subscribe, because you just never know when you need to hear this message. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, please and thank you. I got a few new decks for you guys. Of course, I'm going to just continue to, you know, um, bring you guys the messages that you need to hear, okay? Um, this card is Twin Flame-ish, Oracle deck, okay? All right. Very fancy, very fancy. All right. Go heal. I'm tired of this ish. You tired, you tired. You ain't got time for the, the the games or anything. And it seems like this person is just, you know, um, is going through a healing process. And maybe that's you. Maybe that's them. Okay? Forgive me. I'm sorry. Someone's sorry. Okay? Someone is sorry. Someone did not. I don't think meant to. Um, all right. This card wanted to come out. I guess Sess Magic is controlling me. Okay, um, kind of feels like this person's intentions wasn't to hurt you, um, but they did. Okay, the intention wasn't to hurt you. Sorry, while I pick up this card, one of your friends slept with me. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Why do people feel the need to, how you say this, you know what I mean? Back in the day, that's what we used to say. Like, why you got to keep it with the team? You know, there's so many people out here you can venture off to, but people like to venture off to people that's close to them. And it's always their person's people. You can't do that and then think that apology is going to work. That, to me, is done deal. If you're sleeping, if I catch you sleeping or hear anything you know, um, um, fraudulent when it comes to, um, you know, it, it, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, how do I say that? And people think that they can come to you after that. No, how could you come? And I, I sort of lost my train of thought here because I, it's just, it's a, it's a, like, I'm appalled because this person is telling you, sorry, and for you to forgive them. But how can you forgive someone who slept with someone that you know or that was close to you or that was dear to you? And then they think that's okay. Well, this is what I was going to state. Okay. You know how back in the day they said, like, I think I did say that. Keep it in the, um, keep it in the team. You can't do that. And then expect for me to forgive you. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't. And I, and, and. And this person needs to understand that once you do find out, because there's some Aquarius that has not yet found out that this person is talking to someone that you know. And if this person isn't a close, close friend of yours, but you've heard of them and you know of them and they know of you guys being in a relationship. So that's what's crazy because people know that you're already in a committed relationship, but yet still want to, you know, get their feet wet. And... Either your person or your um or the person that they're dealing with that you know of has a sex addiction, okay? Uh, and they it, when tarot says sex magic, I just want they it's like a fancier way of saying sex addiction, okay? This person has a sex sexual addiction, all right. When it comes to always having the need to you know spread their wings or you know go straight in for it, okay? And um. Because they're trying to fill this void or this this void or this um this urge, this urge to always constantly, you know, having you know, being sexually driven, okay? And this person wants you to forgive them, but you feel though 
because I do feel as well, and the energy speaks for itself, that this person has a lot of trauma from the past. Some people, when they've gotten, you know, um, sexually molested at a young age or they were sexually active at a young age, drives them to do certain things that they know will catch up to them. They know it's not right to basically have these tendencies and these urges while they're trying to pursue something with someone else, okay? Um, and, um, and it's hard for them to only see you as the light, okay? Um, and only you... Because of their sexual urges does not mean that they don't care about you. That does not mean that they, you know, don't have love for you. Okay. But it's going to, it'll be hard for you to believe that this person is in love with you because of, you know, their behaviors and what it is that, you know, they do on the sidelines. Okay. When it comes to, um, you know, being, you know, in a connection with you. Okay. But let's dive more deep into this, please. Um, don't mind the ringing in the background. Definitely thought I had put my phone on, um, do not disturb, but that's fine. Okay. Um, ancestors, angels, any messages you will 12 house like for me to relate back to the sign of Aquarius, please. And thank you for positive and whatever it is that comes out messages, having receipts, Okay, 12th house came at first. Okay, 12th house is hidden truth, secrets, dreams. One has hidden strengths and weaknesses, the unconscious and karma. Having received, it's crazy how these fall into place. Thank you, um, universe. Low, va low vibes. Okay, and hater came out. All right, okay. Um, then I'm gonna take these four cards and I'll go more into it if I need to, if the you know the universe and energy permits me to. Okay. 12th house and the hidden truths having receipts, okay? You know, and if you don't know, now you know. Well, <laughs> you will know, okay? You definitely will know um, about what's going on behind the scenes. And and it's it's awful because people think that they can get away with certain things. You know, even if they stopped doing what they did, does that mean that the universe is not going to guide their, their, the, um, their divine you know what I'm saying? You guys are divinely protected, all right, in many, many ways than one. So where do they think that they was going to let you be, it, like, be so head over heels for someone who had betrayed you? And this betrayal is beyond what it is. And what's foolish is your person, and not to say, like, anybody is stupid, but it's kind of foolish. Because what did you thought this person wanted you a long time with you or did you know that it was just going to be what it is just you know set, um, physical attraction but what else was after that they know you're in a committed relationship they just wanted you why because they are huh, a hater if there's a hater in the house point them out okay Point them out. And this person has low vibration, vibrational energy. Okay. This person really, like, if they, if they had an opportunity to be in a relationship, they wouldn't choose it. They would choose the single life. But then again, envy others who are in a relationship. So if you have the opportunity to be in a relationship, why try to break up a happy home? Because you are not ready to be in a relationship. So that's why I say that your person or either you who know who whoever is doing it, which I feel is strongly it's your person, okay, who went out of out of their way to be intimate with someone you you know, it's a mutual friendship that you know of, okay? And this person's been hating on your relationship for a long time. And it's sad because you probably went on out, out um, outings with this person. Um, and, and if this person had somebody and you guys did, you know, couples dating, it's like this person was eyeing your person from the get and your person fell for it. Okay. And it could be your person that has a sexual addiction or your, uh, uh, or the person that they slept with has a sexual addiction. And that's what lured, lured them to it. And I feel like y'all both, they, they both had a sexual addiction, you know, uh, a sexual attraction, mutual uh, connection when it comes to physical. And that's superficial. Okay. Um, the per your person knows they can't let go of you because they know you are the one for them. Okay. But they still, 
you know, gave in to the weakness. They gave in to something that they know was not going to serve them in the long run. Okay. They know that. And it's unfortunate that people will risk losing someone, you know, um, due to a moment. Okay. And these were hidden truths, especially with the 12th house. Like, I just love how this is just the universe gave. And I asked the universe for concise, you know, clear, clear confirmation, clear messages to deliver to you guys. Okay. And you guys could take this and end the certain cycles. Okay. End certain cycles that is no longer going to benefit you guys and be, and keep this positive because you guys need high vibes. You guys don't need low vibes. Okay. You don't. And your person with this energy is low vibration because they stepped out and betrayed you. And that's not cool. Especially with someone that you know of. Okay. And, and if it wasn't, they still slept, you know, behind your back and you 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 know that they have a lot of healing to do and they need to go do it and they have to do that in order to go into a, the next relationship because i know once you find out aquarius you're done you 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 you're not going to want to continue and pursue this person not how you did and it's crazy because you seen this person in a in a good light and when you find this out switch <laughs> switch and that's not your fault you know you love yourself more enough to let people go that doesn't have your best interests at heart okay and that's for real for real but that's all i have for you aquarius please like share comment and subscribe to my channel greatly appreciated till next time peace